Over 100 years ago, we had Thomas Edison and Henry Ford, who were actually good friends. One day, Edison and Ford made a bet. And that bet was, what would be the energy source that would drive the automotive future? Edison bet on the battery. Ford bet on gasoline. Now, I'm a physicist. If you were to create a wish list, a wish list for the perfect car, one, you would want a fuel source based on an element that's the most plentiful in the universe, and that is hydrogen. Second, you want a car with as few moving parts as possible. In a hydrogen fuel cell car, the engine has no moving parts whatsoever. And number three is the perfect car creates waste, exhaust, that's so pure, that's so refined, you can practically drink it. And that's what the hydrogen fuel cell car is all about. You take hydrogen, you take oxygen, you combine them, and you create water plus energy with no waste products. And so we're seeing here that the wish list of the perfect car, hey, you could be staring at it. This car has a range of 300 miles, an acceleration of 60 miles per hour in nine seconds, refueling time three to five minutes. So we're talking about a game changer. Game changer that's gonna change the landscape. So ladies and gentlemen, what I'm saying today is we are present at the creation. The creation of a hydrogen society, a non-polluting society that's gonna perhaps one day vanquish global warming, the smog that gets into the atmosphere, the problems associated with the burning of hydrocarbon fuels.